Hello guys, this is the first video of our newest video tutorial series about Unity game development. In this tutorial series, I am going to show you how to build a mobile game using Unity. I am using the latest software for this um, tutorial series. So if you are a beginner for Unity game development, uh, I think this tutorial will suit for you. Um, I'm going to show you how to build a game like this. Uh, this is game is called Flappy Bird, uh, quite a famous game. Uh, so let's see how to build a game like this using Unity. And these are the uh, areas I'm going to cover. First, I will set up. I will show you how to set up Unity. Then I will start the project. Then I'm going to show you how to create graphic elements such as trees, uh, characters uh, that you have to use in the game using Illustrator. I am using Illustrator for that. Then I will show you how to start coding in your game. Uh, after that I will show you how to create the scenes, how to create buttons and menu, setting panels and other things. Then I will show you how to implement ads to your game and how to implement how to set up in-app purchase in your game so the users can buy coins and other things. Finally, I'm going to show you how to uh, build your project so that you can publish it on Play Store. So this is a complete uh, beginner friendly tutorial series. I'm going to talk in details about everything. Um, so without further ado let's start our development all right first thing you need is unity let me show you how to set up unity first just type download unity hub on your browser and in the first link go to the unity.com and here is the button just click this and you will get unity hub software so this is the software just double click it yes and you can install this uh, software just like a normal one. I'm going to install this on C. Uh, this software won't take much of his space. It's like uh, 300 and 400 MB software, quite a small one. This is not the Unity. This is just the hub. You will uh, be needing this software to install Unity. All right, I'm going to select this stick finish all right so this is the unity hub uh, in your case uh, you will not see a view like this i am seeing this because i have already created some projects so first you have to sign up to unity hub it's really simple just click sign up and use your gmail to sign up after that go to install section install editor uh, in this section you have to download this version you must download this version because this is the latest long term support version that means this version has the minimum amount of bugs so just select this version and click install i have already installed this version so i'm going to show you the next part in by clicking this one but you have to uh, make but you make sure this is the 2021 20, version all right Next, uh, keep uh, selected this one and select this because we are developing Android uh, mobile game. Uh, if you want to uh, develop a Windows game, you can take this one. If you want to create a web game, you can take this one. If you want to create an iOS game, you can create uh, select this one. So I'm just selecting this one. Uh, for now then uh, click continue all right after setting up unity i'm going to create a new project hit new project button then go to core you can see uh, several categories i'm going to select core in here uh, i'm going to select 2d mobile core because i want to start to develop this game from scratch all right i'm going to uh, provide a name for project for my project 
let's say jumping bird all right and choose a location to save this project and hit create project button and the project uh, will now uh, create after a uh, few minutes uh, the unity will open all right so my project has just created and this is the first look when you uh, create a unity project for the first time uh, let me explain what are these things first you have your scene uh, this is where you have to design your game and this is your project uh, hierarchy in here you can see all the files that you are using in your game your image files your scripts you are the things uh, such as um, materials uh, textures so all the things you can see in here and when you click a folder you can see the content of folder in here all right okay so um, in this section you can see another hierarchy uh, we call this the component list uh, that means all the components that you are using in your scene can access in this hierarchy as you can see now in my scene has just a camera this is a camera uh, and in hierarchy you can see that camera all right first let me explain you what is a scene I'm going to open paint all right let's say I have a game and in that game uh, first I have my home page all right let's say for the first time if you open the game you will see the home page then it has a button let's say the play button and when you click that play button you will op you will go to another page so this one page is a scene we call it a scene so in unity uh, in scene view you have already opened a scene we call it this scene the sample scene you can see that sample scene in uh, scenes folder this is the sample scene so when you create a new project in unity already you will get a scene called sample scene so we are uh, developing a game like flappy bird uh, that game has a portrait view but as you can see this is a landscape view so we should uh, make this a portrait but before we do that just go to the file and build setting make sure you have selected the platform as Android but as you can see currently we are using the Windows platform I'm going to select Android and I'm going to switch platform you must do this first uh, as you are creating a creating an Android game uh, this will take a moment because our scripts are uh, converting to the platform all right it has done okay so now you can uh, switch this landscape mode to portrait let me show you how to do that uh, you can see this tab the game tab the game view uh, this is the scene view this is where you design your game as I told before and this is the game view this is the preview of our game so I'm recommending you should see both scene and game views uh, simultaneously uh, so I'm going to drag this view like this so I can see both scene uh, same time all right now I'm going to um, select this free aspect list and I'm going to select uh, portrait 
all right so this is uh, 2960 by 1440 uh, resolution portrait mode all right so now uh, it is in portrait all right so that's it for the first video if you have any questions regarding this video tutorial you can ask them on my uh, discord server i will put the link in the description also you can ask them in the comment section okay so i will see you in the next video until then have a good day